Hey, what's up, YouTube? Mav here. Uh, I'm just actually uh, making a quick little video to kind of show you a little bit of a <laughs> troll, I guess. Um, with the new Reaper Souls patch, I mean, Diablo 3 has become super fun. I mean, I am so excited that playing the game again is something that I thoroughly enjoy and it's not it's not a game anymore where if you can dual wield credit cards that you're going to be able to you know be in the top 10 top 5 top 3 or even world rank number one um especially on the unofficial leaderboards of diablo progress but let me go ahead and show you how troll this is so uh if you guys have been following the stream or you've known me even way back before when we were playing vanilla D uh, diablo 3 where my archon wizard <clears throat> was world rank um number 54 ish world rank number 54 54 out of all classes and i had like over 600 something k 632,000 i want to say dps but I play hardcore now. I play strictly hardcore. You've seen some of my videos, some of the, you know, <laughs> stupid videos where I die instantaneously because I'm just dumb and poured it on to people uh, that I shouldn't have poured it on. So, without further ado, let me go and show you a little bit about how I've reached world rank number one in one class. So, the first class I'm going to show you right here is healing. And everybody's like, oh, healing's not really important, blah, 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 blah. Well, this is hardcore, guys. I mean, healing is super important. I mean, you're playing with uh, your life. I mean, if you die once, you're dead. That's it. You're, you're done. So, as you can see here, Tatted G Nerd is number one in healing. As you can see, that's my name here on my Crusader. I am maining a Crusader. A lot of people are doubting this class. A lot of people are saying, hey, this class is no longer the class that we should be playing. And, I mean, everybody's going to be a wizard now. Or everybody is playing a different, different class. And mind you, on Softcore, I might play a Demon Hunter. I want to play that class just because I want to see if I can get that Nat set. But, um... As of right now, I'm playing Crusaders. So, with that being said, I am world rank number one out of Crusaders healer. So, if you want to look at that overall classes, I think I'm number well, number four. Uh, it's kind of hard to beat a monk in healing because of their attack speed and uh, life on hit and whatnot. But, you know, out of Crusaders, respectively, I am number one. Now, hold on. Let's go ahead and go into this and see where I am in DPS because a lot of you guys want to know well, where you at on DPS. Well, let's see. Let's see what Yellow Progress says I'm at in DPS. Wow. So I have a profile DPS of 959,452. My Crusader is number seven in North America. Right there, you see me, number seven. And if you want to do it in world rankings, I am number 17, which I'm still on the top 20. Number 17. Now, if you look at some of these players that are in the top, um, not this guy, let's see. Maybe this guy, I want to say, Red Rum Revolver. I believe he is using an old school witching hour. And I, I point this out because to reach this type of dps for myself especially over my farming spec i am using a witching hour not to mention i'm also using some zuni mosses that have nothing to do with my class but they give me much more dps or at least 1.5 percent over my crudest boots which is kind of weird because i hated crudest boots I, I can't believe i got this um but that's where i'm at now with that being discussed I do totally recommend if you have your doubts about um, being a crusader I mean go for it guys I mean it's something that I truly enjoy it's it's uh, it's a class that really you need to run with a group of people and you need to run 
you know, uh, a specific uh, spec. My spec is just something that I use catered towards me, and I know there's probably other specs out there, but this is something that helps me be the tank of the group, um, be in the middle of all the crap, and trust me, I'm looking for a better weapon, and I'm number seven with a crappy weapon. I'm number seven with a crappy shield. I mean, I'd rather run with this uh, Crusader shield that gives me 20% toughness. Oh, not to mention, look, the Dead Mouse uh, Ami, which is really OP. I mean, I have a Scorn that got beat out by this Executioner, you know? I have a Thunder God's Vigor, where once I can roll strength on it, it's going to be probably better than this Blackthorns. But in my DPS spec, I'm running a Gold Skin. Out of all chests, I'm running a Gold Skin that gives me DPS. A gold skin, guys. Anyways, if you get a chance, check out the stream, twitch.tv slash tattedgamernerd. Uh, link is going to be below in the description. And I stream almost every night. I play with world rank players. My buddy Lambo is number five hardcore wizard. My buddy Dartok is in the top 20. I mean, I think he's fallen a little bit below that, but you know, I mean, it's RNG. It's it's the luck of the draw. I've been getting silly lucky with uh, my my drops and my rolls. Like I got these depth diggers, and I didn't have any sockets, but I rolled sockets. Jesus Christ, you know. Um, this this executioner didn't have a, a socket. I rolled a socket, you know. Um, in my DPS spec, I'm not even rocking cool gems like everybody else is. I mean, gold is hard to come by, but the grind now is much more important than the grind when you played way back when when you can buy gold you can go to like a third party vendor and buy gold you know and i did that i used to do that i used to you know i used to build my characters based upon that but now it's much more competitive because you can't sit there and build your characters off of your money you actually have to play the game you actually have to sit there and grind the game out so uh if you want to see my current farming spec, this is my current farming build i actually run with the other with the other shield just for the additional like uh all resist and uh you know armor and whatnot i mean my armor is way up there but if you want to check out my profile i mean look me up um either on diablo progress go to my battle net you can see what i'm currently doing but i am streaming every night almost every night if i'm not doing wild pvp i'm doing this because by god i mean it's amazing i mean it's it's much more fun um you know diablo if you're watching this uh hook a brother up and you know hook me up with that heroes of the storm beta because i'll be all over that too be world ranked on that one um if you have any questions hit me in the comments below if you hate this video make sure you hit that unlike button if you like this video hit the like hit that subscribe check out my future videos check out my past videos um i am coming back full force i'm going to be doing videos several times a week and we're going to be continuing our grind up and up and up that ladder and hopefully we will hit world rank number one and we're going to do it as a team uh if you want to be in my clan or whatever they call this thing uh, and here if you go into communities we have uh, the nerd crew, nerd crew clan and almost all of us are hardcore if you can see we're all hardcore players we don't play around in softcore I mean yes I have a couple of softcore uh, tunes that I'm gonna be playing around with but other than that if you have any questions give me a, a comment below and hit me up later you guys have a nice night. I'll be back on in about six or seven hours. And either I'll be playing WoW for a few minutes just to cap out on points and maybe play around with our new three comps. But Diablo 3 is back to stay on this channel. And I might be actually opening up my main channel, Nerds and Coffee. But that's a different story for a different day. Once again, you guys, thank you for being such awesome subscribers and followers and supporters of the Nerds and Coffee group. And I will see you soon.